Hi, my name is Jonathan Clark. I'm here at Ocean's Edge School of Worship, I teach guitar, bass, and recording. Today we're going to go over a few bass techniques that will hopefully get you playing outside your box when playing uh, normally guitar-driven worship music. We will be in the key of G, and the chord progression will be as follows. First we have G major, then a D over F sharp, E minor, and then C add 9. The first concept is a rhythmic one. While it's easy to copy the acoustic guitar's rhythm pattern, it's not really the same as trying to intentionally lock in with the drummer. First we're going to play an example of just copying the acoustic guitar pattern. Now that definitely works, but we're not playing in what we call the pocket. To do that, we just need to play where the kick drum is and tighten the rhythm up. Here's an example. We noticed that in that example there's a lot more space left for other instruments and the roles of the bass and drums together as a rhythm section are more defined. Let's play the example again. Now that we've got that down, let's look at throwing in some fills. We'll start with the G major scale. Here's an example. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and back to G. Again, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. When practicing the scale, remember to alternate fingers on your right hand and to remember the finger per fret rule for your left hand. Here's an example. Left hand first, finger per fret. And here's an example of alternating the fingers on your right hand. And again. Now we can play the same pattern on the A string starting at the 10th fret giving us the G major scale an octave higher. Here's an example. Again. Now let's play the bass line through the chord progression and when we get to the C chord on B3 we'll throw in the G major scale at the 10th fret. We'll phrase it like this. Again. Okay, let's try it.
you've learned the major scale in both positions and how to phrase a fill that leads to the one, we're going to use the major scale as passing tones between each chord note and then we'll also do the same fill up high on B3 on the C chord. Here's an example. Okay, so now that you can see how to apply the major scale to a song, remember to practice it. Remember the left hand and right hand techniques that we talked about. And try and mix the notes up in your phrasing to give the songs your own signature bass lines.